Hey everybody, how you doing? Do a little fired up Friday. I'm using a little knife I made when I was a kid. It's got a maple handle. I kind of carved out the hatchet and then used a rasp and a file and then some sandpaper. And I made it out of a raker file for a chainsaw, flat file. They're small. Been digging through some junk lately and found some things I hadn't seen in quite a few years. And that was one of them. This fire today, I'm using the ferro rod. Wallace Vivian sent me three years ago. And the first time I had it out, I lost it. I, I was cooking some noodles in the woods, ramen noodles. And I lit a stove with it, I evidently set it on the ground. And it spent a year in the woods. Because I was squirrel hunting, they decided to have something to eat, and I went back the next year. I realized I'd misplaced it, and I didn't know where I'd put it, couldn't remember. And I think that, he told me that's caribou horn, you correct me if I'm wrong, Wallace. And I sat down there, and I happened to be looking around, and it's like, holy crap. And that was in the leaves. Well, let's see if I can get this lit. Not being real cooperative, is it? Because the striker I'm using is not the greatest. Let me try this one. It's a blade off a of ice auger. It does work. Not as well as this one. On. That is more important than the ferro rod. I hate to say that, Nathan, but boy, if you don't have a good striker, you're not getting anywhere. Well, I'll get the camera. Do a close up of this and this. We'll come up, take a look at the fire. That's the ferro rod, that's the knife. Once again, thank you, Wallace. Thank you, Nathan, too. You've been really good to me. We'll do a little close-up. Then we'll get it off the porch before I burn the house down. All it is is cedar shavings. Got snow and wet everywhere, so we can't really get a good fire going. Thanks for watching.